The monarch on the left is still hanging upside down on its chrysalis skeleton, and the monarch on the right is the one that has, um, I guess if you called them twins, he was born first. Ooh, I just wiped that one out, didn't I? Too much glare. Okay. I put a, a little piece of apple. We didn't have any bananas in the house. And so I took a sliver of Granny Smith apple, which was quite juicy, and uh, sliced it up with a paring knife so that the um, critter could get it, the monarch butterfly could get it. So uh, we'll see. There. They were born sometime this morning, uh, before 11 o'clock, and it's now probably 4 o'clock. So it's taken uh, a good six hours for them to dry out and, and get, uh, get happy. And keep in mind that it takes about 80 degrees of temperature before they can fly. I'm really impressed that they were able to hang upside down on this plastic for uh, a reasonable period of time. The uh, black dots you see on the bottom are the caterpillar uh, detritus from eating all of the leaves and branches off the uh, milkweed stem, which they did not eat. The two brown spots on the bottom are part of the fluid, excuse me, uh, that came out of the cocoon when the butterfly emerged. Basically emerging is breaking open the exoskeleton. Let me get over here see if you can see that one. But the other one is really quite active. And again they are um, by spreading their wings, they're pumping uh, blood, whatever color they have, uh, pumping it through their veins, and their veins go throughout their muscles and I believe the wings. So when they spread their wings open and lay flat in the sun, they are collecting heat so that they can uh, have enough suppleness to fly. Mm. The ambient air temperature in this house is probably 74, 75. Plus there might be a little bit of heat buildup from this uh, photo uh, light, but it is a series of five CFL bulbs that don't get very hot but I can feel I can feel a certain amount of of uh, heat on the back of my hand nice active butterfly I'm very pleased now we have uh, let's see here on the on the left side of the canister, a um, let's see, how would you put that? We have an empty chrysalis, and then a chrysalis that uh, in which the uh, critter died, almost on uh, forming the chrysalis, and then over here, let's see if we can. Yeah, oh, there it is. Um, this one died almost within an hour of, of going into the chrysalis state. So that's unfortunate. Well, we got two active ones. And I hope they find the, the food. It's, it's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go back and have another slice of that apple myself. 
maybe with a little cheese. Uh, it'd be interesting, maybe I find uh, a cap and put some water in it uh, for them to drink. I don't know how much they need, but they haven't had a drink of water since they, uh, for about two weeks. That's about how long that it's taken them, week and a half to two weeks, for them to come to fruition as beautiful monarch butterflies. And don't ask me what sex they are, because I have no idea. This is Richard Walker at the Big Bear Studios, signing off until our next project.